You asked for it, we got it guys, Hodgkin exclusive skin is here in the Lost Sigils reward, so let's talk about this event once again in AFK Arena. Sup guys, it's Stan Kosh and today we are talking about the Lost Sigils event in AFK Arena. Uh, obviously the event itself is pretty easy, you just fight the enemies and get the right team. Um, some basics for you guys. Based on the heroes that you use in your team, you will get the sigils of that faction. So for one hero of each faction, you will get the sigil of that faction. Exclusion from this rule are dimensional heroes. When you use dimensional hero, you will get the random sigil. So what you need to do before you start the fights, before you go for the enemies, you need to decide which rewards do you want to go for and plan your fights accordingly. Before we'll talk about the rewards, I want to remind you guys that you can use mercenaries in this fight, so if you need those uh, Hypogean medals in order to get the Hodgkin skin, if you want that, you can borrow Lucretia from someone and use her, that will be your best option for this fight, or borrow some other Hypogean hero that you might want to use for this fight, that will work, you can use a merc for this, so that's easy. Now, considering the rewards, I would say that getting the skin isn't the best idea because it doesn't give you anything but the visual performance but if you guys want it i mean i totally understand you can go for it no problem and get your skin if we talk about the rewards which are the best ones we hear uh usually you go for the emblem choice chests usually you go for uh where are they Poi coins over here and the twisted essence that's usually the best picks but uh, let's find out what are the best options here uh, from the science side, value-wise. Let's go, oh, well, by the way, we've got really, really good heroes here, so you can get the lean here, that's actually not that bad, a good dimensional and celestial heroes here, oh, nice. And guys, before we dive into the actual values of the uh, rewards, I would like to note one important thing. Those are purely mathematical values, right? So they don't mean that this is always the best for you. If you are at the stage where you need signature items, then therefore you should go for emblem choice chest. If you are at the stage when you need furniture, you should go for the poor coins. If your Duras tree isn't ready, you should go for the twisted essence. So that's obvious. If you need something really hard, and it's kind of slower in your progression, you should go for that reward. In other cases, if you like, I have everything, I don't know what I want to get, or like, I have no idea, you should follow the guide. Let's put it like that. So, okay, how many sigils we can get overall in 12 days? The maximum you can get as free to play is 360 sigils. If you are paying for something, get in the packs, you should like add additional values to that and follow whatever you want. So. You know, we will get the guidelines and you can pick from those. So here is a spreadsheet, it's already sorted and that's how it works. First of all, we get the diamond value in that's calculated by in season and how I calculated, there is a different video on that, I have it in the video description. Uh, then we get the amount of rewards during the event, it will give us the value. So for example, for 800 Twisted Essence, we will get value of 5.4k diamonds. Then we divide it by the amount of quest items required and we get um, value per, per quest item, so basically you'll get the efficiency just like that. And we shouldn't forget that we have the limit of the purchases, so we can get more than one tier for uh, chest, for the stones and such, so you gotta be mindful of the limits, If you specifically if you are buying stuff, if you are paying for the uh, you know daily packages. So right, there we go. Uh, here goes the list, like the best value for this event, mathematically, is tier 3 and tier 4 stones, they are equal 100 diamonds value per quest item. I'm not sure, like, I've seen the debates in the comments, let me know what do you think about that as well, that uh, tier 4 and tier 3 stones aren't that valuable, so we should lower the value of them a little bit, maybe like 10-15%, because they kinda end up the best value for most of the events right now. So if you really need the like stones for the gear, you should go for them right here in this event and in most of the events. If you don't, you just skip them. If you think like, I don't need those stones, I'm okay with the gear, you just skip them and go for the next milestone. The best reward for this event is Twisted Essence. For Twisted Essence we have 90 value per quest item over here and that's the best value overall and that's actually really high for the most of the events. Uh, after that goes the poor coins for 81 value per uh, quest item 
which is actually not that bad as well. I miss the tier 2 stones because you most likely don't want to get tier 2 stones because like, you know, you can get them in other means by, you know, just getting the, through the campaign, through the store and stuff. So I'm not sure about that as a good investment. After that goes Mythic Emblems, the one that you use for the signature item, 79.4, so it's really close to the Poe Coins, they are kinda more or less equal in this scenario, so, you know, if you don't know what, what to get and you don't want the stones, here you would like to get Twisted Essence. In case if you are like, I'm okay, my Duras tree is nice, I don't want to upgrade anymore, I want to grow heroes, go for either Poe Coins or Mystic Emblems, depending on what do you need. Then we get the normal emblems, that's uh, therefore no, no, you never want to get the normal emblems. Faction heroes, those guys that are here in the list, like the normal guys, I don't recommend getting them ever as well, because you can get them through the hero choice pack quite easily, and it will be easier and cheaper and more effective, so you don't want to get those guys here. Next one are legendary emblems. Same stuff, you don't want to buy them here in the event because you can buy them from the normal store. So why the hell do you want to waste your precious chances? You better get the poor coins and mythic emblems for that. After that, we got the Sally Hypo Heroes. By the way, I've got the debate in the command going in the previous videos as well, that the value isn't right for the diamond value of the Sally Hypo Hero. That's what we've got, well, that's what we've come up with uh, in season. So if you have other, you know, data let me know here in the comments or in the discord so we can adjust this spreadsheet to make it even better but in case if it's 14k diamonds per cell a hypo hero for stargazing that's like on average three about three summons like 30 summons for the stargazing hero in reality it might be worse it might be higher but that's statistically data that was given by the players i don't know uh that will end up with 62 diamonds uh, per quest item I would like to mention that the heroes here today are pretty good, like uh, Talin is still really useful here, right? Talia is good if you're going for the PvP, this guy, I mean he is good, Zolroth is fantastic hero, but you most likely want to build him through the means of uh, a store, of the challenger store I think, so that's another thing that you might want to consider. And Frampton, I mean, Frampton is cool, but he is definitely not a free to play friendly character, because he is not not really close to the top tier list of the heroes, not not the high priority, so, you know, if you get him right now, you will be stuck with him at the low tier. Or you will have to sacrifice some important stargazing heroes, I don't know if that's the case for you. After that, we got elemental shards and cores, so if you are done with everything, like your heroes are, uh, have all the furniture, they have all the mythic emblems, like they have the signature items ready, all teams are ready, you have enough twisted essence, then you might consider going for the engraving materials here. Because, like, the value of those things is really, really low in this scenario. Then we got the tier 1 stones. And, uh, by the way, guys, I would like to recommend you guys to go for elemental cores instead of shards, because shards can be bought easily for the gold in the store. Cores, not so much. So, like, they are way more rare and hard to get, to get by. So, maybe that might be the case for you. Tier 1 stones over here, never get them because you can get them through any other means. Rare hero cards, like, uh, we, we just have it because it's on the rewards, right? So you will know. Uh, mythic gear chest, 40 diamonds per, like, really bad value. And then we have something special here, artifact fragments. Now, this is special because some guys are really eager to level up the artifacts. Um, I would recommend getting that only in case if you are in a hurry. If you are playing in it, like a long term game, then I would recommend to get them naturally. I got them through the, you know, through the normal means of AP rewards. But if you want to get your Duros Call, for example, to the 5 stars as soon as possible, that's a good mark, to be honest. Uh, then you might want to go for artifact fragments. But the value is really bad. But it's up to you. Let me know what you think about <laughs> that case in the comments. And after that we got the reset scrolls and gold in the end. Because the gold is the worst value right here. So those are rewards that you can get here. Um, since the reward amount is limited. Like what I would advise going for guys. Honestly in my case. In case of my account. Right, free to play count three years old or more. I don't know, really old free to play count. I mean, I'm still lacking uh, signature items and I'm still lacking furniture, so I would split my uh, 
my, my tokens, my sigils, between signature item and the poor coins. And it's like, this is the best scenario for me. M maybe I would even go full, fully invested on signature items because I need those quite a lot. So, yeah. Um, if I would go for efficiency, though, I would get two tier four stones because those are really hard to get by. That will be like, uh, what, 100, right? 100 of the sigils, I have 220 more, all right? And then I think I would go for, I have the tier three resonance already, so I don't need that. I would go for signature items again. And maybe, maybe some, some, some uh, twisted essence because twisted essence is important as well. Like um, those Duras tree levels are actually pretty cool and important because they affect all your heroes and overall they add up. So you don't need to, you know undervalue them so they are pretty pretty cool so yeah up to you honestly guys in in your case in your case it would be depending on what do you need the most uh, twisted essence poor coins or signature items and maybe you can add like you can add those tier four stones since they have such a good value and get two of those because you can get more and after that go for wherever you want I i'd go like this and yeah the skin over here, you can imagine that it's taken 150 of your uh, lost sigils, right? So, it's taken almost half of your rewards. If you want to go for the skin, you will have to give up half of your rewards. Does it worth it or not? I don't know, it looks pretty cool. Like, Kojikin now looks part of the Black Pearl from the Caribbean, you know. Uh, pretty nice looking dude, I, li I like the looks, but... I mean, the cost of it is great and I don't know I, I prefer heroes to play with the normal skins honestly I like the normal skins more but you know up to you if you like that you go for it, it, it this is the game after all you gotta enjoy it right so you wanna go for something that gives you joy so yeah guys that's what I think about the lost sigils in the AFK arena let me know what you think about this video down below in the comments while you're going there don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet moreover you really would like to follow the links in the description and the pin command we got the link tree there are a lot of links first of all you would like to uh, subscribe to my second channel uh, Kosh Idol there we got uh, incoming giveaway for I think 150 USD prize pool so it's not that high but I'm not that rich <laughs> and you also would like to join our discord where we talk about AFK arena other stuff we got the actual people talking and here you might want to go to the welcome screen and uh, press this button down here bam and that will give you role of notifications code and you will get notifications straight in the discord if you don't like the youtube notifications for some reason and it's a hub of my activity so like it's easiest way to communicate for me with you guys so join in discord is a nice place to be and other than that guys thank you very much for watching i appreciate that quite a lot i hope you will get your best rewards on the lost sigils event this time and yeah thank you very much for watching that's about it for now stan kosh out have a good one